Hey, welcome to Drone News Now. Welcome to Drone UHQ. As always, my name is Paul, and I have been out of the office for the last few weeks on drone adventures, and oh man, has it given me some purpose. Also been doing some drone training. Thanks to everyone who came to the mapping and flight mastery class last week. That being said, we are in a new era of the drone industry and the market is maturing as a new rival is challenging DJI's status quo. Many of us have thought of DJI as the number one drone manufacturer in the world. And they were the frozen food section of the grocery store for drones, making drone flying easy and convenient. But now Insta360, is saying, hold my beer. It's time that we stop imitating and start innovating. And the way that we fly drones will completely change. Anti-Gravity, which is 360's new sub brand, is coming out with two new drones, a Cinewhoop drone and a 360 drone. Imagine two 360 cameras on like a Mini 4, Mini 5 Pro. Now, you might think, ooh, that's cool. You gotta dig in a little bit here because if you know Insta360's X4, X3, X2 cameras, Yes, they're used for Matterport tours. Yes, they're used for 360 video. But the real kick here is that with the Insta360 cameras, you can capture everything at one time. And they, then later on, you can use an iPad and the Insta360 editing app and actually select the motion and select what you want to show. You can select that frame. You can move the frame to get nice cinematic motions. You don't have to worry about having the super detailed skills like what you learn at Drone U to capture nice cinematic motion. Now this might limit your ability to get good zoom shots, but think about it. Now you can fly, collect everything that you want, and then go back later and actually make those nice cinematic motions. This is gonna open up the market to a much wider group of people. This is fascinating because if the DJI ban actually goes through, which we'll talk about in our next story, we're gonna have amazing consumer drones that will push DJI out. This could be monumental for the drone industry, and this could be monumental for drone pilots as a whole. In our next piece of news, which is slightly connected here, the US government launched a 232 investigation into DJI starting on July 15th. This means that they have 30 days to determine whether DJI is actually a security risk. That being said, what if DJI is not banned? Now what the US government has tilted the scales back in the favor of competitors to DJI, people like Insta360. And don't forget, DJI was going to launch a 360 camera just like Insta360's to try to garnish their market share, just like what they did with mapping with DJI Terra, trying to go after drone deploy, Pix4D, and SightScan. Right? DJI has a very clear record of going after the very people that built up their ecosystem. Well, now people are fighting back. With this Section 232 investigation, which was mandated by the NDAA 2024 and 2025, this is going to really bring the drone ban to a head. It's a culminating pivotal point where we either get DJI banned or they roll back the ban, which is going to be really interesting because in our next piece of news, a whole new drone that looked just like the Mini 4 Pro was launched on the open market called DJI, or called the Sky Rover 1, but actually it's a DJI drone as found by the Slack OGs. If you don't know who I'm talking about, that's fine. What matters is that a new Amazon listed drone called the Sky Rover X1 bears a striking resemblance to the Mini 4 Pro, sharing code, encryption keys, app infrastructure, and even DJI login capability. Researchers suspect it's simply a rebranded DJI drone like many of the other ones that we've seen in the last year. DJI has denied involvement, calling inquiries under investigation. Meanwhile, lawmakers are eyeing such ta tactics as a national security risk. The Verge's article even said DJI could neither confirm or deny that they were evading a ban with this new Sky Rover drone. Doesn't this behavior showcase a psychological pattern that DJI knows that a ban is coming, that they're trying to evade it without actually solving the security issues? If you still think that there are no DJI security issues, you've got to take the wool over your eyes because honestly, there's too much evidence now to point the other way. Long story short is with DJI and having the status quo and leading the market, it seems like those days are coming to an end. Meanwhile, in our next piece of news, the Pentagon has awarded Autarian, who makes those flight controllers that are used in most American drones, not Skydio, 
The Pentagon has awarded $50 million for Autarian to create 33,000 AI-powered SkyNode strike kits to Ukraine under a U.S. defense contract. A tenfold scale up over the past deliveries. Now, this is very interesting because we are now seeing the very direct implication of Trump's executive orders, where we're seeing money going into the domestic market. This is massive. This is huge. In all honesty, July of 2025 is going to be known as the pivotal moment in the drone industry, where things changed, where the scales might be rebalanced. And ultimately, don't forget, competition is good. So I'm excited for these new drones, like the Insta360 anti-gravity drones, and I'm excited for what's to come. Now, that being said, many people are still wondering what American drones can compete. Well, we're seeing a whole lot of new companies coming out. And in all honesty, I think the drone industry is changing as a whole. Why? It's no longer about flying drones. It's about flying drones that fly autonomously, that then interpret the data autonomously, write reports autonomously, and actually provide data autonomously. We're going from tools to interpretive devices. We're talking about true flying platforms like we've talked about here at DroneU since 2013. I hope that you enjoyed this new show. If you have a question for us, go to askdroneu.com, upload it. And if you want the world's best drone training built entirely from experience in the field, like what I just did in the last few weeks, and I've been doing for the last 12 to 15 years, then you've got to check out thedroneu.com for the world's best drone training. We don't just read manuals, we take flight, and we take flight with confidence. That way, you can too. Thanks again for joining me, and we'll see you in the next news show.